This video shows you how to make the most of the uh, Descript Calculator tool that is available in Maxport. So the first thing that we need to do is create some data so that we can actually create some criteria for this. So two possession buttons, we're just going to use this um, for now. They're both in manual mode because it's all about time data. So firstly we need to create some criteria whilst we're in the timeline. So that's why I've gone to registering and then I'm in the timeline. Now what I can do here is go to my Descript Calculator tool and I need to choose, for example, Possession Own. Let's look at this one to begin with. And I want to look at the start and the end of the clip. If I had descriptors, I could look at time differences between them, but this is where I want to begin with. So I'm going to be looking at possessions that are less than uh, 20 seconds and eventually I'm going to look at between 20 and 60 and more than 60. But to use Descript Calculator in my dashboard, I need to create a single criteria at a time. So possession own is my category. I'm looking at the difference between the start and the end of the clip when it's less than 20 seconds. And I now need to press uh, the plus button. So I'm going to save this one. This is short possession. OK, now I'm going to go to my next one. Let's go between 20 and 60. I'm going to save this. It's my medium possession. Then I'll go to my final one, more than 60 seconds. This is our long possession. Okay, so I have to create them first. Obviously, if I'm here in the timeline, there's not going to be any, any results here apart from less than. But I wanted to make a row, new rows of any possessions that were less than 20 seconds, between 20 and 60, or more than 60. Okay, so all that happened here was I got a brand new row because both the possessions were less than 20 seconds and I've also put the descriptor name of short into those clips. But now that I've saved those I can go back to the registrant environment and now I can make a new dashboard and all we're going to do here we're just going to make this really simple to begin with I'm going to right click and I come down to descript calculator label and now I can use the ones that I've saved up. So I'm going to use short possession. Okay, let's give this a nickname of short possessions. I'm going to tick that there, and we've got that made. Right click, descript calculator, uh, descript calculator label. We go medium possessions, medium possessions. Obviously I could change up the colors and the fonts that I need to, but this Descript calculator is based on the settings that I made when I was back in the timeline. So I chose the category and I chose my criteria for start and end time of the clips in this example and the time periods. So there's our third one, long possessions, and that's running. So if we now have the video player um, keep on running, and let's have a possession here, I'm just gonna use my right arrow key to skip forwards, so this clip's definitely longer than 20 seconds. And then I'm going to go to another one. And let's make this one. I'm going to use shift and right arrow. It's going to be longer than a minute. Okay, I make a third one. This is going to be, again, between 20 and 60 seconds. And if I manually refresh or the next time I press um, a category up here, you'll see that my descriptors are changing. Uh, my descriptor calculator labels down here. So it's telling me that I've got three short possessions, two medium possessions, one long possession. And it's based on using those Descript Calculator Label settings that we created when we were in the timeline. Obviously, if I went back to my timeline, I can run that calculation again so that I could generate those rows. So Descript Calculator Label, let's use those options I had before. I could go and load the, the other ones I had, but let's just quickly do that here. Possession own, look at the difference between the start and the end time. Make my results. I've now instantly turned those into rows as well. So really useful for things like ball in play, possession length, anything where you've got a manual mode button, the script calculator label lets you create some clips afterwards, but also lots of live data that you can use in your dashboard when registering live as well.